so would you believe it Christmas Day three o'clock just popped my first beer just about to settle that sit down and eat and we get a call out uh, apparently a lady slipped on some ice up at the top of Kinderloe and injured herself um, so we're all just getting ourselves into base and then we'll get out and see how bad it is so we're just about to go out now um, don't really have a lot more info on where she is we believe she's uh, slipped on the ice somewhere above um, the top of Kinderloe there's like a burial mound up there we think she's somewhere near there currently trying to get a helicopter see if they can help us out um, obviously that's our best route but it's fairly low visibility up there so it's hit and miss whether we'll get one if not it's going to be a stretcher carry so um, Kinder 1 have gone ahead to try and do some medical care I'm running Kinder 2 um, we're going to take all the heavy gear up uh, walk that in and then hopefully if the helicopter doesn't arrive we'll just try and stretch her out of there so we're now walking up the track the Edel cross track from Moorgate at the Hayfield end up towards Edel cross itself normally we would come up here in a vehicle but the track's frozen and very slippery and it's not been possible to get our vehicles up safely so we're walking in there's a team ahead of us carrying a stretcher we're bringing in warming gear with the idea that we can uh, help out in case our helicopter which we've called in is unable to evacuate the lady Coast Guard helicopter is uh, circling at the moment. Um, they're trying to look for a route in underneath the clouds. Uh, not quite sure if they're going to do that, but we're hoping that they'll uh, they'll push this one because she's pretty seriously injured. It's pretty damn cold. You can see the snow on the ground. Uh, so he's just looking for a route in now. I think he might be flying over us as he goes in, but hopefully. If he gets there, this becomes a lot simpler. If not, it's a difficult stretch of carry over hard ground and potentially over quite a large chunk of ice. Right. The helicopter's had one look at it. I uh, didn't like the little cloud base, so he's done a circuit. Uh, I think it sounds like he's gonna have another attempt now uh, see if you can get in if not next best thing really is if you can land a bit lower somewhere uh, we can bring the casualty to them and then get them off to hospital Unfortunately, the helicopter started to run out of fuel. They've been holding a hover all the time they've been waiting for us, and they ended up having to go back to their base. This meant a much longer stretch of carry for us, all the way down to our vehicles that are waiting at Moorgate.
So we're back now at uh, Kinderman Rescue Team's base. You can see we've got a road ambulance there meeting as our casualties being assessed and stabilised in there by the paramedics. I'm sure she'll be, uh, she'll be taken on to one of the hospitals. We've given her some analgesia, but the conditions were poor on the top, so we didn't really do much other than package her up, make sure she was nice and stable, and then um, and get her off the hill as quickly as we could without getting cold. You can see that the, uh, the team there, we now just have a little bit of sorting out to do a little bit of decontamination of our kit. And then I'm sure we're all gonna to want to get home as quickly as we can to see what's left of the Christmas dinner.